So maybe you need to turn a relay or something on at a particular time of day. This could be something like a buzzer or a horn or a piece of equipment or just about anything electronic really. We use this for controlling our soldering irons here at our office. We want the soldering irons to turn on at 9 a.m. and we want them to turn off at 5 p.m. So the simplest way to create a time activated relay is using uh, some of these simple IFTTT relay controllers and the IFTTT service. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. The first thing that you're going to need to make sure of is that you have an IFTTT account. If you don't have one, go to IFTTT.com and create one. The next thing is you're going to need a relay controller. Control Anything offers a wide line of IFTTT relay controllers, which you can see at ControlAnything.com. These boards have a particle photon interface module and, of course, onboard relays. So you're going to need one of those. You'll also need to make sure that the relay controller is set up for your Wi-Fi network and that the module in it is claimed to your particle account. Once you've got all that done, we're ready to proceed with this article. So we need to make sure that the channels are connected properly to IFTTT. We're going to be using two channels today the date and time channel and the particle channel. So let's go make sure that those are connected. To do that on IFTTT.com make sure you're signed in and then click on channels. Under channels in the search box type in time. That's going to bring up the date and time channel. So click on that and you'll see it's already connected. This channel should be connected to your IFTTT account by default, but if it's not, go ahead and do that. You'll also want to make sure it's set for the correct time zone. I'm in the central time zone, so that's what I have selected. Now we need to make sure that your particle channel is connected to IFTTT. So go back to channels, and then search for particle, and it should bring it up. I already have this channel connected to my account, but if you don't, you'll see a connect button. Just click that and go through the steps it gives you. So once the two channels are connected to your IFTTT account, we're actually ready to create the recipe. So at the top of the page, we're going to click on My Recipes. And then we're going to click on Create a Recipe. Now we need to click on the blue This text. For the trigger channel, we're going to be using the date and time channel. That basically means that that is the channel that is going to trigger this recipe to actually happen. So we'll just search for time, and we'll see the date and time channel pops up. So click to select that. Now you have a few options here. You have every day at, which means every day at this time, this uh, recipe is going to run. So that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Every single day at this time this event will happen. You have another one here, every hour at. So every hour uh, on the hour or 15 minutes past or 30 minutes past or 45 minutes past you can have an event fire. Then you have every day of the week at, which means you could say every Monday at 9 a.m. run this event. Um, it won't run any other days of, the, days of the week. You could add several of these if you want to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you didn't want to run on Saturday or Sunday. That's what we actually use for a soldering iron. We create, an, uh, we create recipes for every day of the week. And then uh, we'll have a recipe at 9 a.m., on Monday to turn the relay on and we'll have a recipe for 9 for 5 p.m. on Monday to turn the relay off to turn off our soldering irons and then we have those for every day of the week so we've got 10 total recipes uh, to control that seems like a little bit of work but IFTTT is so quick and easy to interface with that it's really pretty easy then you've got an every month on the uh, so you can say day of month, you know, on the 1st or, you know, the 15th or whatever. You can actually specify a day of the month, and then you can uh, do it by year um, on the date you specify. So you could, you know, have it sound a horn on your birthday or something like that, or maybe on your wife's birthday so you don't forget. Um, so those are your different options for a trigger channel. Today we're just going to use every day at. 
So that's going to run every day at this time. So it's 11.08 right now, so I'm going to set this for 11.15. So at 11.15 a.m., the event's going to fire. <clears throat> You'll see how I'm able to select the hour of the day, and then on the hour, 15 minutes past, 30 minutes past, or 45 minutes past. This is not good if you need to turn the relay on at 11.05. That's not going to work. Um, but you can select in 15-minute increments. So now we'll click on Create Trigger. Now we need to click on that. So for the action channel, it's going to be the particle channel because that is the module plugged into our relay board and we want to call a function on that to turn the relay on at a particular time of day. So we're going to start typing particle here and the particle channel will pop up and we'll click to select it. Now we have the option to publish an event or call a function. Well, for this application, we want to call a function to turn the relay on. So we'll click on call a function. Now we need to uh, select the function name. Now I've got a huge, big, long list here because I have a bunch of particle modules. Um, but just find your controller and it should say control relay on the name of the particle module. Um, that is that is going to be uh, specific to the firmware that we put on the module before we ship out our IFTTT relay controllers. So if you don't see control relay on the device, then you don't have our firmware running in the board and you can uh, follow another video to correct that. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So I'm actually uh, using this board here, Travis-8 is the module that's installed in our one channel relay board. So I'm going to click on control relay on Travis-8. Now we need to give that uh, function uh, an input. Um, this firmware accepts on, off, toggle, and momentary. Um, I want to turn the relay on, so I'm just going to type in on. And then we'll click create action. Now we can give the recipe a title. So we can say every day at 11.15 a.m. turn on the soldering iron or whatever you want to call it. And then we'll click on create recipe. That's all there is to it. Basically at this point we just sit and wait. So the relay just clicked on. Um, it wasn't exactly at 11.15. I would say maybe it was 20 or 30 seconds past 11.15. So this isn't for really sensitive time critical application. But if you just need a relay to turn on at about 11.15, this is a really good, easy, cheap setup to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe the channel and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a great day.